solution demo where we'll walk you through how to submit your KYC application. For this, you'll only need your phone and your photo ID. Also later in this video, we'll show you how the core team processes your application with help from local human validators in your region. First, you will be asked to input your country and ID type that you'll use to verify your identity. Confirm your age and that you consent to the legal agreement. Next, take a picture of your ID photo. After entering the information on your ID into this form, follow a human liveness test that will instruct you on what actions to take along the way. This simple but important step distinguishes real humans like you from fake accounts and computer scripts that try to hoard pie. At the end of this step, you will also have to take a photograph of yourself within the application. This photograph will be compared against the picture on your ID to check if they represent the same person. In most cases, the computer algorithm is able to recognize all of the text on your ID. Most of the text on the ID is redacted, like what's shown here. In some rare cases, when it is not possible for the algorithm to automatically read the text, the amount of redaction may be reduced to request the assistance of human validators. With this example, we can see how the pictures are also removed from the ID, the pictures are extracted out and will be compared with your selfie by a different validator, and there is no audio in the liveness detection video. In any case, before a human validator sees any of your data, we are showing you exactly how they will appear to them and will only proceed in the KYC application if you consent to share the redacted version of your data to human validators. You can see that in the final step of your application. If parts of your data are not redacted, you can go back and re-upload a clear picture of your ID. How well the machine automation works very much depends on the quality of the photo of your ID document. So in a sense, if you want to minimize the chance of your personal data being seen by human validators, try to provide the best possible photo of your ID document with good lighting, clear and focused content, and a straight and correct angle. Once you are comfortable with your obfuscated data, press submit and you are now done. Keep in mind that your full ID and data are processed by the servers and the redacted version is processed by human validators. And that's all you need to do to KYC. Also note that this demo is only the current version of the KYC app and is subject to change and improvements as it's being further developed. Now, if you're curious to know how exactly the KYC validation will be performed, continue watching this video. In this KYC solution, most steps of a KYC check will be performed by machines automatically, including data extraction from documents, data obfuscation, data matching, account name matching, and sanction screening. Human validators will only help with the identity authentication process when machine automation falls short, including ID type validation, face image comparison, and liveness confirmation to prevent cheating in the KYC process. These are selected pioneers who have already passed KYC, verified their identity, and have legally agreed to maintain the confidentiality of any data they see. As there are thousands of ID types in the world, Human validators from your local region are the best knowledgeable individuals to assess that information. This way, the KYC solution can support the widest variety of countries and regions ID types in the world, making Pi as accessible as possible. To avoid human errors, more than one person will be asked to provide an assessment. Here, the algorithm decided that validators must verify my ID because it didn't look real enough. So, human validators are asked whether this looks like a real Polish passport ID or not, and since this is true, as we would know if we were Polish, we select yes. Next, the algorithm needs an assessment on whether the picture on this ID matches the Pioneer selfie. Well, obviously not, so we respond no. Finally, a human validator may be called to decide if a real living person is applying for ID verification in the liveness test video. No audio is recorded during this test. Also note that each pioneer contributes one pie to get KYC'd. This pie is pooled and given to the human validators for their work. Anyone can apply to become a validator as long as they have passed KYC themselves. But the process to get approved is quite rigorous and looks at many different factors. Moreover, even when a pioneer is admitted to the program, they are initially only provisional members, and they can only continue reviewing applications after they prove that their work is accurate and trustworthy. Well, that's it for now. This has been a preview of Pi Network's unique KYC process. 
It allows the Pi community and ecosystem to bootstrap and scale itself without the need of any external services or fiat currency outside of Pi. As always, what do you think? Please send us your feedback in the comments of this video and also in Pi Chats. Thanks.